Hello again, everyone. Michael here with Felicity. November 8033 Foxtrot. A Cessna flight training Hello device again, that I built everyone. at home. WestJet, hello, my friend. Hope uh, you're faring the weather all right up there. You made it to your hockey tournament all right. Your hockey game this evening all right. Um, we're just going to take a, a short IFR hop from my home airport to 5 Golf 7, which is in Bluffton, Ohio, just south of Findlay. Um, so we're IFR from 4 India Niner to 5 Golf 7. We flew this route VFR last week in preparation for a real world cross country um, that I was going to have the following day, but due to weather, I um, had to cancel that one. Um, but we're going to be doing that again tomorrow, or rescheduling that for tomorrow um, VFR. But for this evening, we're going to fly it IFR just due to the weather conditions. So. Uh, give me just one second. <laughs> okay. Alright, sorry about that. Had to converse with the first officer for a couple minutes there. Um, so, tomorrow, in real life, going to be making this flight VFR, um, but uh, IFR this evening in the simulator. Um, I want to fly the approach again, and... I want to see if my updated OSM uh, data took effect in our ortho scenery. Uh, when we were doing it in VFR, uh, one of the... And, oh, my overlay is not on there. All right, bear with me just a second so, let's, so that I can show you um, what we're kind of talking about. But one of the VFR um, landmarks that I picked out my nav log uh, was not um, modeled in the uh, um, ortho photo scenery but it was lacking the OSM data so I went ahead and uh, updated that um, OSM data there it is uh, to reflect um, the landmark which in this case is Killdeer Wildlife Plains. There's these um, sort of three bodies of water that are clearly identifiable on the VFR chart, um, but they weren't modeled in my ortho scenery. So I went ahead and updated that and redid the ortho. So we're going to look for that um, on our way, because it should kind of be right, we, we should be kind of be flying right over it on our IFR route. And simple IFR route. We're um, departing out of home airport for Indian Niner, hoping for radar vectors to the Bud VOR, which is over Marion, and then to the um, I forget the name of that that uh. not what I want. There it is. So I was like, why is it not showing up of another high chart? Um, but then we're going to be going to the Flag City VOR. So, Morrow County, Bud, Flag City. That's the route I'm going to file. Um, hopefully it'll be valid. I'm going to file, I'm going to file a low altitude. I'm going to file 3,000 feet. Um, hopefully that'll still give me visual of of our uh, what we want to check out those lakes over there 
but if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I think our overcast is going to be relatively low. And in the northwestern Canada, visibility out there is only 80 to 100 feet. Yeah, there's no way we'd be flying out there, and realistically, there's probably no way I'd be flying um, this evening in real life either, just due to the current conditions. Uh, but again, we are in a simulator. This is a simulated IFR flight um, from Morrow County to Bluffton. So let's head over to the aircraft and get our flight plan filed and see if we can't get a clearance and get things going. Approach. Let's talk about our approach real quick into Bluffton. There's really only one approach um, that we can fly going slant alpha. It's going to be the VOR runway 23. We can take a look at Flag City as our initial approach fix. This is an out and back in, so there is going to be a procedure turn. Outbound um, on the 053 radial, and we'll do our right um, procedure turn. Um, I guess be a, this would be a left hand procedure turning to the right and back inbound. Crossing over the Flag City VOR and 2,500 feet. And then we're going to make our um, essentially a continuous descent down um, until we decide if it's going to be a go or no go. Missed approach. If we have to go missed, we're going to climb to 2,500. Then right turn direct to the Flag City VOR uh, Vortec and hold. Okay. Should be good. Let's head to the aircraft. I will see you there in just a moment. Mm -hmm.
All right, everyone. Uh, welcome aboard, Felicity. We're glad you found the aircraft. Sorry, I got a little wet on the walk over here. Um, here in the ramp at the Moyo County Airport for Indian Niner, IFR 25 Golf 7. Uh, it's going to be a, it's a very similar flight to one we did VFR um, uh, last week. Um, again, we're going to recheck our, our check our new OSM data. Hopefully, our uh, um, new landmarks are rendered properly. Rendered properly now. Let's take a look at Bluffton. Uh, go back over that real quick. Uh, Unicom is going to be one two two point eight. Approach would be one two zero point eight. And that's Toledo, which I doubt um, we would have them online. Um, and runway zero five two three forty one twenty six by seventy five feet. Really, the only inf other information I'm going to jump down is our um, uh, navigational aid frequencies. M9, first sunshine in a while out there in New York today. Um, that's c very, very good. Hopefully, it lasts. We had about 30 minutes of some wonderful sunshine, and then uh, some weather came in. I was hoping it was going to uh, continue to be that uh, that blue sky for the rest of the day. Uh, hopefully, I was able to get a real flight in, but it transitioned back to uh, uh, MVFR. Uh, I think that's what it is currently right now too. In X Plane 12, WestJet, there's a, a rain section in X Plane 12. I know there's a developer menu. Uh, I don't recall seeing a rain section. I wonder. Let's take a quick look. Now, now just because I'm curious, developer. Show rain inspector. List of surface rain. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Let's see. Okay. Um. What else do I want? The Buckeye VOR, the Bud VOR frequency. Poor uh, tech. Yeah, it's a poor tech. One zero nine zero point eight. City BOR. Is one zero eight point two. Um, that's what we're gonna need to make our approach. Is that Flag City VOR? Let's go ahead and file our well, let's, before we do that, let's go ahead and connect to VATSIM. We will be utilizing the VATSIM network for our flight tonight. Who 
who are recently now incorporated as a non-profit. So that's outstanding. It's an unusual frequency for India Center, 128.225. That's who we're going to need to talk to to get our clearance. I'm used to talking on 119.550 for Indy Center. Let me just wait. 128.225. That's what it says. Okay, so now that we're connected, now let's go ahead and head back here and file an IFR flight plan on the BATSAP network. Call sign is correct. We're at type 172 this evening. Light weight category. We're going to go slant alpha. Departure for Indian Niner. Off block time, we will say 2025. 0, 0. It's Friday, 27th of January, 2023. Hope everyone's had a good week. Altitude, we're going to file 3,000. Airspeed, we'll probably make 110-ish. Arrivals, 5, Gulf, 7. Uh, let's pick an alternate, just in case, but would be a good one. Uh, We would need something with a bit more precision. Where would we want to go? <laughs> Springfield. We get Springfield Beckley. Wouldn't be too terribly far from the mist. We'll go to Sydney, SCA. Just because I'm familiar with that one a little bit more. En route time, according to our flight plan, about an hour. And fuel, we'll probably have four and a half hours of fuel on board. Route details, we are bud. And then Flag City. And I'll put our channel in here. Thank you. Let's make sure everything looks correct. Call sign, flight type, aircraft type, weight category is all correct. We're going to go slant out for today, VOR to VOR. Departures for Indian Niner, off block time. Actually, it's already 20. Let's bump that up another five minutes or so. And altitude, 3,000. Okay. That'll work.
Alright, let's get our aircraft started up. And yep, this is the appropriate checklist. And just while I'm thinking about this, this is the one that I need to take tomorrow. Alright, um, weight, balance, and fuel, we do need to check that real quick. You and I on board, um, tell you what, let's go. Maybe about 18 gallons per wing is plenty for what we're going to do. Okay, you and I on board with our baggage, left and right wings at 18 gallons. Um, Gives us a takeoff weight of 2,279 out of a gross 2,550. Supply those changes. And take a quick look at the maintenance report. Just because it's been a while. <laughs> Cylinder head temperature is 35 degrees preheat needed. Let's go ahead and start that preheater. There we go. Everything else looks good. Flight plans filed, uh, weight and balance is done. Um, let's just do a real quick walk around. Okay, flight controls. Um, let's check our lights, that is going to be important. Red on the left, the strobe, landing light, taxi light, green on the right with the strobe, white on the rear, beacons working. Okay, let's turn all that off, get back in the plane. Hey, right, exterior walk around, it's good to go for all intents and purposes. Uh, for the duration of this flight, please go ahead and keep your seatbelt fastened. If, however, you do become uncomfortable, please just go ahead and let me know so we can, uh, well, land as soon as we can. KW for life. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good week. Sitting here in the ramp at my home airport. We're going to take a quick IFR hop over to uh, another class golf. It's uh, 5 Golf 7 in Bluffton, Ohio. So they kind of prepping for a real world cross country. Um, but that's going to be a VFR or IFR this evening. Okay. Uh, circuit breakers are all in. Alternate static is in as well. We will move right along to our start checklist. So let's get our seat scooted up so that we can reach the rudder pedals and the flight controls. Okay. Uh, avionics are off. Autopilot is off. Pilot is going to go quarter. Mixture is lean. Brakes on. Okay, brakes on. Master on. Beacon on. 
clear prop. Let's clear in the left. Clear in the right. And clear up front. Okay. Mags to start and mixture to rich. Alright, uh, oil pressure's in the green. Alright, oil temperature, our temperature is relatively cold. I'm gonna lean us out here. Well, a little bit. Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna sit here and rev past a thousand. Um, Cause we're cold. So, I'll bring it down, lean it out just a bit. Turn our landing light on for safety. Mixture as required. Okay, we just talked about that. Um, all right, moving along, run right along to our pre-taxi checklist. Okay. Right, uh, seat belts. I'll get that on in just a moment. Our flaps are up. Avionics going on. Weather. Let's talk about weather. Um, our closest weather station is actually Marion, like November, November. Their VFR... Currently, it was IFR when I was looking at planning the, when I was planning the flight. But, you know, we never know what's gonna happen. Um, 200 winds out of the west, so I'm gonna choose runway 28 out of Morrow County. Uh, 15 knots, visibility 8. Now, I'm telling you that but it would help if I write it down as well. 200 and 15, uh, 8, 2200, view, view. 4100s are layer. Alright. 15 knots uh, out of the west. So we are going to have a bit, um, quite, a, quite a bit of a headwind. Cause we are heading west. Okay, frequencies, let's get our um, first VOR. Let's get that up now and map to 109.8. Okay, we were already able to grab that. Uh, let's just turn this on and confirm this, that we're getting the proper station. Okay, so that matches up there, so we know that that station is broadcasting and working. Uh, we'll have to do the same for Flag City once we get airborne and get a bit closer to it. Okay, let's get Unicom dialed up and on standby. Get Indy Center on active one two eight point two two five. One two eight point two two five. Alright, 
Sounds like left to right the frequency. Turn right 30 degrees and uh, maintain my point. Uh, I forgot my. Uh, what do I want to call it? My iPad stylus. I'll be right back. Indy Center, good evening, American 1025, cruising flight level 340. Alright, sorry about that. Until I, I recently ordered an Apple Pencil. I'm really excited to get my hands on it, but until then... This universal stylus does okay at United best. Sounds like he's clear. Indy Center, November 8033 at Foxtrot, on the ground at the Morrow County Airport with the numbers IFR to Bluffton. on the ground at the Morrow County Airport with the numbers IFR to Bluffton. frequency with you and can you repeat the transponder please November 8033 Fox Delta 979 uh, maintains level 340 for now. 340 for uh, Delta 979 back in. Good evening citation 7 Romeo Papa flight level 430. Number 7 Romeo Papa and you center hello. Com 
Wow. Indy Center, November 8033, Fox 5. Can you repeat our squat poop, please? Clear the bluff 10S5, flight 3000, departures with you, squawk 4023, November 8033, Foxtrot. 8033, Foxtrot, read back, crack, let me know your number one, ready for departure. We'll let you know number one, ready, 33, Foxtrot. Alright. Park and break off. Okay. We've got our release, carrying on with our. We checked the checklist, we tested our radio, we got our transponder, ADSB is tied into our nav lights, so let's get those on. Okay, I need to go down now then. Okay, went down to 28, me, uh, cross that bar, level 300. Bar 300, dot com 29. And dot com 29, uh, maintain Mach 0.75 for now, traffic, uh, this is 737, near 12 o'clock, about 3 miles, and, uh, level 300. So direct to the Marion VOR. That's going to be uh, heading up roughly 305, it looks like. Okay, heading indicator to compass. Looks like right around. Alright, brakes for just in the roll as well as our attitude and the counter and track coordinator. 120.35, have a good night, United 2085. Doc on 28 is leaving for level 450. Alright, brake is off. Okay. Make sure you're full rich for taxi. Not quite there yet. Alright, look at that wind stop. So we've got kind of a quarterly wind. So what we're going to do is dive away from it for taxi. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Yep, sure am. Let's get this altimeter set to our actual elevation. Two nine X, is that about right? Two nine or nine or two? Yeah, close enough. Field elevation puts us right around 29 or China 2, and we're about 12 miles away from that station. Indianapolis Center, American 2526, request IFR to JFK. ABEX 2281, say Mach 0.80 for ABEX. ABEX 2281, maintain Mach 0.77. It's a bit windy. Indy Center, sounds like it's on the Mac. Oh, sorry about the resuming normal descent. Alright, I gotta do something. Something's not quite right with my rudder here, real quick. Max 301, contact 
Celsius, we do have visible moisture, uh, so we will uh, keep an eye out for any signs of icing. Icing is our enemy, not our friend. November 8033 Fox for at runway 28, number 1, ready, IFR. And Apex 2021, it's going to be 737, 350. American 2488, traffic here at uh, 11 o'clock, turning northwestbound, 503, 6 is a heavy 767. Uh, heading 340.28. 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 Uh, heading 340.28.
November 8033 Foxtrot, runway 28, number 1, ready, IFR. 8033 Foxtrot, time now 0146 at Zulu, release for departure, Clarence Boyd, if not off within 10 minutes, call me airborne. Clarence Boyd in 10, call you to talk to you soon, November 8033 Fox. County traffic, November 8033 Fox Shots taking runway 28, departing straight out, Morrow County. Parking brakes off, make sure it's rich. Just use as much runway as we can. Not that we have to. Alright, grab that center line. Our wind to kind of that way. We'll put some wind correction in. Alright, and full throttle. Ease into it. It's going to help with our rudder on our takeoff roll. Check our rudder. Well, County traffic to my way to three three box truck. Uh, Canceling takeoff back taxi to eight Mile County. All right, something not right. I've got a conflict somewhere. County traffic. Look at our eight zero three three box track clear two eight Morrow County. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick look at something here within the X plane.
so X plane should not be taking control. It's not even configured. Nothing assigned there. Okay. too much. Alright, we'll try that. Sorry about that. Alright, we're still on Unicom. I shouldn't have exited the program. Alright, we're gonna try this. Moore County traffic, November 8, 0, 3, 3, Fox Shot is taking runway 28 straight out departure of Morrow County. Alright, we'll try this again. My apologies for that issue. Oh. It is a... Is a crosswind characteristic? Let's see if we can't get a visual on that. Definitely crabbing. There's oh yeah, that wind sucks pretty horizontal there. Center, November 8, 0, 3, 3, Fox Shot, 1,700, climbing 3,000. On course, we're bridge 33 Fox Shot. American 336, contact Atlanta Center 128.72. We're at Atlanta 28.72. Alright, this heading should take us to the boat VOR, which I've got dialed uh, here. In uh, VOR 2. There is no DME. But it is, it is located directly at the Marion Airport.
If I recall correctly, each dot is about two degrees. So approximately one degree off course. Uh, M Stein, they are. Um, it's actually the uh, Kildeer Plains Wildlife Refuge, and I, I guess I kind of wanted it in there because I hang out there a lot, do a lot of photography, so I really enjoy the area. So uh, that's why I use it as a landmark, which is why I kind of took the extra steps to get it modeled in here. Center, November 8033, Fox Trot, 3000 feet. Number 5, Golf Papa, runway 10, taxi via Alpha. Center, 
as needed, master max to off. And fly the airplane. Cleveland Center, November 80335. Should I just want to confirm my check in 3000 feet? I thought I heard it through the garble, I just wasn't sure. I wanted to confirm. Alright, so we do have BME out of Flag City, 33.8. And then I'm also going to get it dialed into uh, NAV 1 as well. Incidentally, our initial approach fix. Cleveland Center doesn't know that yet, though. So it'll work out for him when he asks for the approach request. Which switch over to the VFR map um, and confirm but yeah I'm pretty sure that the ASF update took Thank you. 
Switch, switch over to an IFR chart, or a VFR chart, yep, there we are. Alright, so, my new OSM data worked out pretty good, so now all that's rendered as warmer. Made it real easy to uh, make out as we were approaching. So I'll have, I'll have to, uh, do some more of the area now that I know that. Uh, the one I fly in real life does not have a GPS. I have uh, two VORs, uh, two compact radios, two VOR radios, and a trans uh, transponder, an ADSB out. So I've got a boat C transponder. It is not the IFR legal, it doesn't have a clock. zoom level ortho to capture them. So, uh, ortho tile done in a zoom level of a 16 may not capture uh, you know, a man-made pond or something because it's not large enough. So sometimes you have to do a custom zoom level to get some of the smaller bodies of water in ortho for XP. some more of these real quick icing. We experience some icing. Uh, Peter Heat's gonna go on. Cabin heat defrost to maximum. I strongly consider a 180 degree turn um, to escape the icing conditions. That's the theory behind that. Attain higher or lower altitude. We're looking for warmer air to stop the accumulation. That's the theory behind that. Increase engine speed. Good. See if we can go faster. Shake it off. Burn it off. Actually, there's a sci scientific theory behind it. faster if needed. Flaps are not recommended for landing. And little to no flare on your final. Golf Papa, 
18.5 DME, Black City. City at 90 knots, um, we're descending about 500 feet per minute, uh, about 40 minutes and 12 seconds to our missed approach point. Numbers at Bluff 10, and we would like the VOR runway 23 approach. Have a bridge or three feet box shot. Thank you. 
Procedure turn inbound, November 8, 3, 3, 3, 5, 7. 2500 or so. Make sure it's going to go full width. Power back. Celsius.
do want to thank everyone for coming in and hanging out. Doing a little bit of local IFR flying this evening. I hope you've all had a, a decent Friday. Two point seven DME from Flag City, cross out of above twenty five hundred. We want to grab the outbound on zero five three, so I've got that set on map two. VOR2, so we can track that out. And then again, we're going to have to report the procedure turn back inbound. So we're about 0.5 miles. Okay, so I'm going to I'd say that's close enough. Let's go ahead and make a turn 056 for the outbound. He told me to report the procedure turn inbound.
one minute. All right, standard rate turn, or, er, yeah, 180, 200, you know, that way. Standard rate turn. 235 degrees.
Cleveland Center, November 8033, Fox Trail, proceed your turn inbound. November 8033, Fox Trail, airborne train parked into a shop and down there, the frequency radar service terminated, frequency change service. Frequency change approved, talk to you soon, November 8033, Fox Trail. See, and I know, I know I already said that. But he also told me to report a procedure turn inbound. So I just wanted to make sure I did what I was supposed to do. Alright, so now I can make my unit call. call. Left in traffic, November 8033, Fox Trot is 8 miles north on the VR runway 23 approach, Bluffton. So 233 is what we want to track. The radio we want to track the VOR outbound of. Crossing it at 2,500 feet. And then we'll make our descent right as we cross. And we'll need 4 minutes and 12 seconds. seconds. Not all right. All right, we got fifty three seconds on. seconds is our missed approach point. Let's confirm our heading indicator to compass. Two minutes and 35 seconds. Still don't have the runway environment yet. What's our minimums? 1,500 feet or so? Well, 1,300 feet. I see the uh, 
beacon anyway. We're still on the VOR. Alright, let's hang out here. Let's not lose any more altitude. Elevations 851 feet. Okay. I've got the Vassy in sight. We are low on the glide slope. We're going to level up here until we're re-established on that glide slope. There we are. To pull some power back out. Fly this airplane down, back down to the runway. Or grab it down to the runway, however we want to put it. Bluffton traffic, November 8033, long shot, final approach, runway 23, full stop, Bluffton. Exit up here on our right. Or well, we should anyway. November 8033 Foxtrots, clear of runway 23, Bluffton. Right. Let's get to our IFR flight plan now. Zephyr Southwest 748. Southwest 748, affirmative, just try to maintain final level 3 1 0. 033 Fox shot us on the ground at Bluffton. Request you cancel my IFR flight plan this evening. For HR 33 Fox shot, IFR cancel is received. Have a go. Thank you for your service. Good evening. The 2964 turn left heading 004, so. 040, that's 2964. Okay, 2964, we're able to say reason for your miss. I couldn't figure that out. Our right Jerry speed just dropped completely in the red. Me and Tyler weren't sure what it was, but he saw my airspeed. Oh, and, and now I'm taxiing fine here. It must have been a, uh, just, you did want to try the a pretty windy issue there in Morrow County. 
I'll try it once more if it goes the same. We'll uh, divert to uh, Chicago. Let's we'll just find you now. Alright, that's how you said if you go missed again, you're going to Chicago? Affirmative. That would be O'Hare, correct? Right? Yes, sir. Who's gonna put an aircraft object the 6266 right there? Right there. Might have to do some fatigue, fatiguing, critiquing, finagling, and wed on this airport. Not a good spot to park that jet. Even if that's a ramp start, it's two three zero one three got two five five on my heading. Number two five cleared for takeoff. This is kind of right there in the middle. I think twenty three seventy six to seventy eight in front of a three three zero. Well, shiny, outstanding. Let's secure our aircraft here. Parking right. Oh. Yeah, ELT is very oh, sorry, silent, avionics going off, lights going off. And mixture to lean. Max to off and master off. Alright. Actually, I'm just going to leave this one here for now. I will see you all back at the FBO for a few moments. like to thank everyone for coming in and flying this evening. Um, it was a fun flight. Um, IFR from my home airport um, to 5 Golf 7, which it's if we go and look at the VFR sectional And if we go directly from four I nine to five G seven, it's exactly fifty one nautical miles, which is just what I need for a cross country. Um, so that's why I picked Bluffton in that result in that regard. Um, so we're going to try this VFR tomorrow in the real world in our 172 Foxtrot. Uh, 
but I am pleased that our new the new OSM data I did for the areas working which brought out a BFR landmark um, that that you know is used a lot around here. Um, that's the uh, the killed airplanes wildlife area there. So doing some OSM update updating in JOSM and then redoing the ortho tiles brought that to life. So I'm pleased with the results on that. Uh, Rear world flying tomorrow. Might get into some um, stuff later on this uh, tomorrow evening. I do have some work uh, in the day to get taken care of though. So until our next uh, regularly unscheduled flight. Um, again, I want to thank you all for coming in and hanging out. Um, but you all take care and stay safe. Flying's fun for me. It's always more fun when it's more than one. And you all make that happen, as always. So I am grateful uh, for getting to know you all and hanging out with you all. Let's see who we can send you over to. Uh, I'm sorry this one was kind of short and sweet for the evening. Um, but uh, it's getting kind of late. And I want to make sure that I'm actually well rested for tomorrow's actual flight. Tell you what, I'll send you over to uh, uh, Melvin Leroy, who's uh, is in the Piper Navajo. Yep, Piper Navajo uh, in X Plane 11. So I'll send you over to him uh, for your continued evening enjoyment. Um, and for the YouTube viewers, as always, since I don't get to talk to you, I um, do appreciate you. And thanks for your likes and comments. And. Uh, and subscriptions to the channel. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, chatting with you all as well. But have a great night, and we will see you all next time.